This is Mr. Sandman, bring me eternal salvation. Get it at otfi.com slash Sandman. All right, here we go. We're going to do this. Boom, 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 Sandman, you bring me a dream. Boom, 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 boom. This is the part that I love, unless you want to skip this part. I'm Jesus Christ, and I skateboard now. I skateboard in on the Pharaoh's face. Hey, fuck Pharaoh. I'm Jesus. I know that's not popular to say. How y'all who love Pharaoh say yeah. Yeah. Oh, do you guys even know who Pharaoh is? Excuse me while Justin takes a peek, because this rap is long, and it's really wide. Just like his dog. Ready to roll? Now check out this week. Oh. Yeah, I know you, you're just boring. Like, what are you gonna do? Open a spreadsheet, you stupid dog? Oh, yeah, no, let's, let's pay our taxes quarterly, huh, dog? Jesus. <laughs> what are all those diamonds? I, I melted down under pressure. <laughs> oh! If you're still with us, then that means you belong with us. Hello, beautiful people. I'm Brian Brushwood, live in Austin, Texas. Joined as always by my BFF in OAK, it's JRY, Justin Robert Young. How are you doing, buddy? I'm doing fantastic, Brian. Uh, you're just getting ready for yet another live show, man. We are piling these live shows on top of each other. This is going to be the last one for a bit. So if you are in the Vegas area, make sure that you come on out to Scoops Fest this Saturday afternoon. I believe 3 o'clock is when we are when we are live. But that means that we'll be together in Vegas. Yeah, dude, I'm super stoked. I I uh, I got to admit it's kind of rad to have like I don't want to say low stakes, but it's like like I I'm I'm, I'm going to do my live s- stage show. I'm going to do the thing and and it'll be great. Uh yeah, I mean I think well you don't you don't do the uh, the stage show until later in the weekend, right? Is that Sunday night or Saturday night? Yeah, I don't know. It's the day after we do night attack. Day after we do night attack, so that'd be Sunday. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, so so normally you would be the. Uh, uh, this is less pressure than Dragon Con or or South by or anything. Yeah, little bit. Uh, I don't know. Like 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 part of me feels like it's like I'm a bad person because I'm not worried about it the way I would Dragon Con or so on. I don't know. Uh, is there any? I mean, I would I would suspect that this would be more of a more of a proving ground because. Obviously, Matt and Mattingly, they they do the uh, uh, Scoops podcast. You were on it and and uh, did a great job. But they're in that same orbit with some of your magical and podcasting heroes. Yeah. So, so this that's that's the weird part. Is is, is I don't know. I, I I think about like 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 these are people like the folks who are currently working on Matt Donnelly's, uh, you know. Uh, live show uh are are the gods of olympus man it's like you 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 have a, a, a freaking matt king and so on and and it's like i don't know uh it's it's challenging for me to imagine that i'll be in the same orbit as the gods of olympus. i guess that that's my question then is like so then how can those two be reconciled that you're kind of like eh, whatever i'll do a show and then at the same time be like yeah it's going to be seen by you know, uh, Mac King and Lance Burton and Penn Jillette and Teller. Yeah, I mean, the answer is I fold like a house of cards and I weep silently at night. I'm not comfortable with any of this and I'd prefer that we moved on to something else. That's okay, my cool. take. <laughs> Uh, uh, cool beans. Well, uh, everybody go ahead and uh, uh, check out uh, uh, us in, in Vegas. We'll be there all uh, all weekend again scoops fest uh, i think you can still buy tickets uh it should be a super rad time uh anyhow man what's going on uh all right so okay can i ah jeez i don't know this story this it's it's a dumb story i have a dumb story i have a dumb story it's garbage and it's dumb but it's 100 percent true all right uh for the video watchers hold on I'm now holding up a garbage can. You see this garbage can? Yeah. Are you going to pull the story out of there? Is yeah. Is that the metaphor? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, oh, Bryce. Sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. So I want you to see there. Are, it's all green except for one part at the at the the handle grip that is another 
piece. You you see this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. So um <sighs> so Man, this Clean. is a hell of a setup. This Hold is on. like oh, Brian this is, is like, like, like when, when, when a movie begins a hundred years before the main narrative. Pays off. Pays off. Pays off. Um. So okay. So I I, I go downstairs and I grab uh, uh this trash can because I want to clean everything out because, you know, it's the beginning of the week and I know that Bryce will be here and I want to clean everything up. I'm on the phone with my brother Jay. And so I, I, I carry this thing down and it's got a bunch of, you know, I don't know, uh, beer cans or whatever. And, and I go down and I go to start slamming it on the uh, trash can, right? Uh, and, and by slamming it, it's like I, I, I flip it over and I'm hitting it down with the intention of taking everything that's, you know, vaguely glued to the inside and I want, I want to dislodge it, right? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Sounds right. legit. <laughs> so, I've done this before you're, you're with trash with, cans. You're with me so far. Sure. All right. Okay. So, 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 yeah. Again, just to reset. Okay. Just in case people got lost here. Brian has a garbage can. Uh, it's used to hold garbage. Yes. Uh, and, and at a certain point, he decided to empty the garbage bin, <laughs> which is natural course. Uh, and, and in doing it, he wanted to slam it down so he got anything stuck to the bottom to fall out utilizing gravity with which a lot of people aren't immediately uh, uh, aware of so go ahead i'm so glad you spelled that out for those people all right so I'm just to reset it. just we're all reset now okay we're reset on I'm brian's sl- garbage story here I'm we go slamming and go it down. i'm slamming it down and i'm on the Heath phone Piper brings up a really good point the the garbage is mostly green but there is a whiteness to the handles the handle is so if you're imagining piece. this in your mind imagine a green uh maybe up to your knee garbage can with <laughs> Oh, white handles. Okay, we're all reset now and go. So I'm on the phone with my all brother. Right, hold on. Mike TV in the chat room has some questions. So if you have any questions, let's get these out right now just so we can move on. Because I really don't want to spend too much time on this recap. Uh, 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 WJ so, says, says he's lost again. I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're just going to have to go. And Brian, just power through. Go. So I'm slamming. What does the garbage <laughs> smell like? That's another good question. So we're just going to assume it smells like garbage. All right, Brian, go ahead and go. So I'm slamming down this uh this, this garbage can. Like like uh uh most of it falls right out because it's garbage in a garbage can. But but then sure. I start slamming it down. But then in the middle of slamming it down, yeah, something happens. Okay. So I'm holding. Okay, so pause right now. Pause right now. Brian has slammed down the garbage can. Most of it falls out. <laughs> However, there is something that happens. We don't know what it is, but something happens. And uh, uh, I think that that's uh, how many kilos in the. We don't know, nor is it really important. Uh, uh, something happens in it and go. <laughs> So you'll notice Does a there's... ghost come out. Nobody knows. Something <laughs> happens. So it's not ruled out. But but uh, it, 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 I'm going to say probably not. We have not established a, a, a narrative of magical realism. All okay. right. Here we go. And go. So I'm on the phone with my brother, and I slam down this thing. Now, how much garbage is Jay holding? It, <laughs> Jay's not holding any of it. Jay's listening to me very patiently as I slam out the garbage on this. But yeah. here's the thing. You notice how, like, these handles are they're, separate? Yeah, they're like a different everything? color and everything. Okay, so yeah. in the middle of slamming down this trash can, uh, yeah, kind of, like, like I guess everything opens. Okay, actually, pause. Uh, we have a question. What were you and Jay talking about on the phone while this was happening? Uh, we were talking about the garbage. Let's go with the that. garbage. Now, okay. what did Jay so, think about right. the garbage? Is the thing that we uh... Jay was super like he was fully erect. He was like, "Oh my god, garbage! Are you kidding?" me? Okay, Arr. all right, all right. There we go. Just wanted to get it out. All right, so you uh, the handles are a different color. Just to recap, uh, uh, something's about to happen and go. So I slam it down, and this thing like 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 the the plastic separates enough to allow my squeezed hand to. To, to fill in the gap and then it seals again because it's no longer being banged and then uh, and then all of a sudden everything's pinched That'll like happen. super pinched like yeah. super 
like unbelievably hard pinching on my on 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 on, on the, the second flange of of a middle finger. What uh, gypsy did your hands run over? That they are so cursed. No, no gypsy, no gypsy, no gypsy. Like, like, like that just happens. And I'm on the phone with my brother, and I just, yeah. I, like, like I'm banging, banging, and all of a sudden he hears screaming, and I'm just like ah! And then Jay's like, uh, oh, uh, do you want me to go? And and then weirdly, like <laughs> the thought that comes up to my mind is, uh, I'm, I'm like, no, stay, <laughs> so that you can hear this. <laughs> and so and so I I carry like I realize like it's so tight it's so much flesh that it would be a problem if it was ripped off and it would be um but also it's so tight that that like you know the answer is keep it you know keep holding your hand on it so so I walk in and I'm talking to Jay the whole time. I'm like, I ah, god damn it, this hurts so bad, it's the worst thing ever. Uh this thing is pinched in my flesh and I can't stop it. So I walk into the garage and I grab uh All right, know. so this is this is this is not coming off with just like the natural spasms of of you trying to free yourself. Like yeah. this is locked on. No, 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 like 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 early on it's exactly that. I'm 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 just like you know like god damn it no 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 and Jay's like, "Oh, well, I guess I should go." And I'm like, "No, fuck you. You don't. You don't. Just stay, stay." And so I walk over and uh and I get a uh, flathead screwdriver that is thin enough and I I you know, I don't know. I inject it. I bend it, and and everything gets out. But it, it, the point is, it is the hurtest I've ever been. It is. Wait, hold on. It hurt more than the drone. Yeah. No, I th I I think that's Com accurate. Compare to say. those pains. Compare those recent hand traumas. So okay, so the how long how long were you in the garbage can's grasp? A minute, thirty two, seconds, two two minutes. And, okay, that's not that's and, not an insignificant amount of time. Yeah, right. I mean, it was long enough that it was like, 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 like the uh, the drone was a thing where it's like, okay, it's now injuring me. I'm gonna throw it down. I'm gonna kick it. It's not gonna be a problem. Sure. But but this thing was the case of like, you're trapped. You're trapped. By the way, you're trapped. Also, uh. That's great that you've decided to walk into the garage and try to figure out a way to untrap yourself. Also, you're totally trapped during all of that time. Yeah, sure. That was astonishingly hard. Uh, Jesus Christ, dude, that is annoying. I, I can't imagine being uh, been losing a battle of you can't touch me to my trash can. Well, and, and 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 plus there was that moment where I'm like, like Jay's like, okay, sounds like you're having trouble. I'm gone now, and I'm like, no, fuck you. You're gonna experience this with me, <laughs> and, and and I'm holding on to it. I'm like, uh, and 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 all he's getting is me shouting, you know, fuck, 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 Jesus, fuck, 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 and and I don't know. It was it was rough. It was very very challenging. Well, I'll tell you what's not challenging. Patreon.com <laughs> slash Night Attack. Uh, that is where you can support this show uh, by by going ahead and on over there and, and kicking us a few uh, shillings. It's what makes all of this possible, man. Uh, there is no thing that is possible on this show unless you uh, pay us money. We, we haven't done this show for free in <laughs> seven years, and we ain't starting now. <laughs> so pony it up, or we ain't showing up. Hell's. Yes. Speaking of which, man, we're heading over to Las Vegas. We're going to be on Scoop Fest. How exciting uh, well, is that? Uh, well, uh, well, first, Brian, there's mm. a thing we do with oh. Patreon. God damn it! You would it's think when, would be when ready you for that. Uh, uh, update your pledge on Patreon, uh, you get the opportunity uh, to be a part of this hollowed. Segment. Uh, it is. Ladies, it is the and... most important time on the show. L Ladies and gentlemen, it's Go, time for the night attack. New Patreon name chant corner hour. It's an hour 
of it. Dude, what do you think Dylan Dillenbeck, Devin Dillenbeck is night? up to leading up to uh, this moment? He has oh, three Devin, first Devin Dillenbeck listening to this show is uh, he's like the new guy uh, in the fire department. And all the other uh, guys are like they're calling him Rook and like throwing hoses at him and everything. Meanwhile, he's like doing like thirty-five push-ups. He's just like, hey man, yeah. I don't know what to do. He's I'm just like, he's do like, these uh, he's doing like fucked up shit, like eating breakfast and lunch and like uh, uh, do, doing <laughs> push-ups up and, totally and like having fucked a up snack shit, like and like breakfast you know like and jumping lunch. rope and everything and shadow boxing, you know, having a cheese it, like just doing some really weird stuff, <laughs> having one cheese it and then yeah. doing. Push-ups, yeah, no, that's yeah. what Devin. Yeah, you know, to. just trying to like adhere to the ADA's uh, uh, nutrition mint guidelines on how to live a healthy life. And then like, all like of a sudden, kind of this stuff. echoing voice pops in out of nowhere and says, "Devin, Devin Dylan, Dylan Beck, Devin Dylan Beck, Dylan Beck, Devin Dylan, Devin Dylan Beck." A single cheese it. Devin Devin Bilbeck. That's that's what he sounds like. Oh, my good God. Also, ladies and gentlemen, you can sub to us on Twitch. This is when we go full cam girl and embrace the median, uh, medium and uh, let everybody know that all of their subs and bits are greatly uh, appreciated. There we oh, go. Vile 82. Vile 82. Yeah. Also, Crew Vet. Justin, what if I Cat told you? Bar, what if I told you Papa flat Bouvet. out, full stop, like, like, yeah. like no Cat denying six, it. Seven, three. Like, yeah. Curtis Ev- Leroy. Like, what if I told you we could be gods of Twitch and and that we could make uh, millions of views for every you know, uh, pledge that showed I mean, up? What, what, what would we have to do? What, what's uh, what's the what, what, what do we have to what do we have to figure out? We would have to do exactly what we're doing right now. That's the only trick. Is is let uh, Depot Devoid uh, uh, let him know that he's greatly appreciated because he just yeah. subscribed right now. Yeah. By the way, September all subs are half off. Uh, Jeff Bezos pays for the goddamn rest. <laughs> well, that's and that's is for that, new. Is new that subs. a true thing? At, yeah, no, no. September is a real thing. All all new subscriptions. Uh, uh, that four ninety nine is half off. So uh, Twitch covers. That means our answer is the same to everyone. Uh, uh, thank you, Jeff Bezos. Thank you. Yeah, oh, there so we sure. go. Thank hey, uh, you, uh, 69 Jeff bits Bezos. From Debbie Scott is one. Nice. Thank you, <laughs> thank Sun you Jeff Bun, Bezos. Tinvec, JC Calhoun Slider, Jive Damien, Shiftlock, <laughs> Benita Boomcrash, Trey. Thank you, everybody, for resubbing. Ugh. Boom. Thank you, guys. Man. What do you got loving going it, on? Loving it, loving it, loving uh, it. All right, wait. Are we going to talk more about Scoops Fest? Didn't we talk about that in the first act? Or, or what else we got to say about Scoops Fest? Uh, outside of... It's awesome, and I'm super excited to be there, and we've got to – I mean, if I was going to make one wish, Justin, yeah. also Stephen Cogswell, if you're listening, um, it seems like we should start with some kind of awesome song that will appeal to Scoops Fest people for, uh, for people who don't understand our show but could – Grow to understand it. Wait a minute, we didn't get that with the trash can story. No, we didn't. We didn't get. We didn't get enough good material for the no. trash can story. No. Well, what would such a song be about? Brian it would Brush be Brush. about. Um, I don't know. Like, um, uh, considering it's Scoop Fest, so it's like a lot of magicians, it's ice cream right? social. Okay. Um, hook me, hook me up. What do you got? <laughs> what do I got? Yeah. What do you got? Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> well, this is do... a bit called "Write a Song <laughs> Now." I mean, come on, employee, write me a song. <laughs> well, that's this is a great bit. This is a great hilarious bit well, where Bryce is forced to write a song in front of everybody. The, the, but one that's very important because we want to impress people. So none of this hey, dumb hey, shit. Come on, man. Are you going to impress them or not? Let's go. 
Well, I, the thing I like about ice cream is all the different flavors. <laughs> flavors! 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 Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I wish I had more than flavors. Um, okay. Justin? <laughs> you don't pay me. I don't have to write a song. <laughs> right, man. God damn it. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I mean, wait. Uh, hold on, wait. So the idea is that we just want to give Stephen Cogswell something that he can work with. Yeah. Right. I mean, I mean but that normally happens. You realize yeah, we've been doing right. that on the show without making like a concerted effort for a like a year now, right? Yeah, but I, I, like I want to make a concerted effort finally and and do it good. Do you think that'll make it better? <laughs> no, it probably won't. It'll probably be like garbage. Like no, because like, exactly what just happened will happen. We'll be like, oh, it was for Scoops Fest, so we'll just do like flavors. I love flavors of ice cream. I love Matt and Matt and Lee's ice cream social. We're here in Vegas. We hope you like us because we're insecure. Beep, 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 boop. <laughs> flavors was a good idea. I want to put that on the table. It was a good idea. You nailed it. You nailed it. <laughs> High five! Bit we're complete. not playing that. We're not. I'm putting my foot down. As half the show, we're not playing that song. I want it to be our song. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm not gonna ruin that song. That song was pretty great. Wait, hold on. This is your bit. This is your bit, and you hung me out to dry. You're like, I mean, sing a song, sing a song, <laughs> sing a song. Bryce, sing a song. I have nothing. <laughs> huh? Justin, sing a song. Okay, nailed it. We're done. This collaborative song thing that always happens is not happening this time. <laughs> you kind of nailed it, though. I'm, I'm ordering kind of, pizza. I'm, I'm ordering the pizza right I'm now. Kind I'm kind of 100% pizza. thrilled. Brian has not eaten anything happened. in 24 hours, and he's off Price, the deep Bryce, order the pizza. Order the pizza right <laughs> now. Order the pizza. All right, I, 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 wait, what, you want me to sing a song? You want me to sing a song? Yeah, this was your idea. <clears throat> All right. Uh, your um, idea to sing songs. Right, here we go, here okay. we go, here we go. Let's sing a song for the ice cream social. You're the greatest people in, <laughs> whoa, wait, whoa, why are you hiding your face? <laughs> this is almost totally... <laughs> No, it's not good. It's not. Are good. you this familiar is... with how these songs sound? They sound like us talking, and then he edits them together. In they're not. It's not like we fully sing songs during the show, and then he just captures them and replays them. We give him raw material, like like during the show, and then he compile. That's his work as an artist. Yeah, sure. If I, if right. I might, if I might so, give a note. Yeah. Okay. All right. Love the enthusiasm. Yeah. I love the idea of tying it into all the other people. Matt and Madeline, Mattingly's social ice cream social hour, corner hour. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's great. But if this is going to start the Night Attack show, yeah, it should maybe be about Night Attack. Okay. All right. <clears throat> here we go. Here we go. Ready? Uh, all right. Here we Justin, go. Justin, I'm, I'm going to need you to, to, to feel the burn because it's Bernie Sanders <laughs> as... <laughs> As the... All right, I'll I'll do my part as Bernie Sanders. All okay. right, so you go ahead and you sing in, and then I'll jump in as Bernie at okay. some point. All right. um, yeah. Hey, everybody, have you seen the news? We're on Ice Cream Social. Uh, you got the blues. Bryce, give him the note. <laughs> Again. Bryce had one note. He had one note. <laughs> Again, you're making it about Ice Cube Social Hour, but this is the start of our show. Oh, our show. Okay. Isn't all right, it? All right. All right. I, I mean, Do you I want assume. them to start the convention with this? Okay. All right. Um, all right. Here we go. Night Attack. It's a hell of a thing. Why don't you get in the Night Attack bling? It's me, Bernie Sanders. I love Night Attack. It's the best. <laughs> I broke my back. Wicky wow. Wicky wicky wow. That's <laughs> so whack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh I think uh, that is more than enough. <laughs> Wait, that's material. a whole song. Do you want to do another that's verse? Do you want to do another hot four? Yeah, do another yeah, verse. Yeah, do yeah. another verse. All, all right, there right, right. we go. <laughs> night attack. It's a hell of a thing. Why don't you get into a night attack bling? You did the exact same thing. <laughs> I literally uh, said the same thing. 
You know, if it's recorded, he can just play it over <laughs> again. Hey, you don't have to sing a new thing <laughs> each time. All right, so what should I do instead of Night uh, Attack right. Bling? Uh, you can, uh, what about all the friends you can meet at Night Attack, uh, like all the characters or got any it. of the people on the show? Night Attack, it's a hell of a thing. Look at all the characters that you can bling. <laughs> bling. I'm buying a pizza. I'm going to, to the Papa John app I'm sorry. right now. I'm doing my best. I'm doing care. my best. I mean, this is very I, real. I, I swear I'm this doing my best. This is happening. I am buying your goddamn pizza. All right, let's just get into the bit. Let's get into the bit. Bryce, right. I mean, uh, contrary to Bob, I know it seems like this was obviously the pre-planned second act bit where we were going to invent a song that we could play at Ice Cream Social Scoops Fest tomorrow or, uh, this Sunday, but... Uh, but uh, let's let's go ahead and do let's do the bit here. Yeah, no, we got a uh, we we opened up the the quiz bounty. Uh, by the way, if you've got a quiz or a bit you think would be a good night attack second act bit, send us a mail at nightattack.tv. We got a bit actually from our uh, our bard, our Canadian one wonder wall. Our Canadian uh, oh, wonder Cogswell wall himself, Stephen our Cogswell. Bar. Yeah. Oh, right on. Stephen Cogswell sent along this quiz, uh, and it's called "Who Said It." Einstein or Bruce Lee edition? <laughs> Einstein or Bruce Lee? <laughs> so we've got uh, uh, ten, 10 or so quotes here. And we'll, we'll go back and forth with who starts first. And I just need you guys to tell me if uh, Albert Einstein or Bruce Lee said the quote. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, All right. Here we go. So, Justin, we're going to start with you uh, because you have a sense of, con- of, of, of a cognition right now. <laughs> Uh, I want you to tell me who said this quote. Life is like riding a bi- a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. I believe that was uh, that was Bruce Lee. I believe. I believe that that was uh, old, old, old Brucey Bruce. Old Brucey, Lucy Bruce. Old Bruce old, Bruce. Uh, old Bruce uh, Bruce. Uh, Lenny Bruce is was his nickname. He was also the comedian. A lot of people don't know that, uh, as well as martial arts, he was a groundbreaking stand-up. All right, Brian. Life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. It's got to be Einstein. That was Einstein. It's got to be Einstein, Brian says. Brian. Oh, wait, my phone's on mute. Oh, yeah. That was Albert Einstein. There we go. All right, see? All right, Brian, we're going to start with you this one. Okay. Why is it nobody understands? Hold on, wait. Can we pause for two seconds? I love that Hunger Strike Brian just periodically makes onomatopoeia noises like from an anime cartoon. (laughs) It just just reactions and things. Just, oh! (laughs) That does explain. I mean, you're not wrong, Walter. You're just an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Brian, I want you to tell me who yeah. said this quote. All right. Why is it nobody understands me and everybody likes me? Why is it nobody understands me and everybody likes me? Is it Albert Einstein or Bruce Lee? It's got to be Bruce Lee, right? That's a Bruce <laughs> Lee quote. Okay. Justin? Uh, I'll I'll say I I'll just go the opposite. I'll say Einstein. All right, Justin, your answer of Albert Einstein is no shit. That's right. It was Albert wow. Einstein. There we go. Uh, by the way, all right. The next quote: I hope my son doesn't accidentally get shot on the set of a comic book adaptation. <laughs> Einstein or Bruce Lee? God damn it. Einstein or Bruce Lee? Bad person. You are a bad man. It was Einstein. (laughs) Justin. Funny enough, that's how the game works. All types of knowledge ultimately mean self knowledge. Uh, I think that is Bruce. Uh, Bruce Bruce, the no, black that's, comedian. That's also Einstein. Bruce that's Lee. one stone, my friends. That's Einstein. Is that. Is that. Is Einstein mean. One stone? Yeah. That's cool. Uh, well, Brian, your answer is... God damn it. It was Bruce Lee. 
Yeah, no, that sounds like uh, like old like old Bruce. Hey, you know, I, Bruce had a lot of uh, crazy uh, crazy comments. You know, uh, he was really fond of that uh, that song. Uh, Night attack, it's a hell of a thing. Come on over and catch the bling. Night attack. Uh, it's a hell of a thing. Come meet some friends and check out their bling. Night attack. <laughs> it's the capital of Qatar. Come on by and visit the bling. <laughs> you guys are killing me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Brian. Yeah. Here's a quote for you. All right. There comes a time when the mind <laughs> takes... Are you good? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm thinking about hell of a thing. Bling. <laughs> Got it. There comes a time when the mind <laughs> takes a higher plane of knowledge but can never prove how it got there. It's gotta be. Come on. I swear to God, if Einstein said that, I want to punch him in the face. It's gotta be Bruce Lee. All right, Justin. There comes a time when the mind takes a higher plane of knowledge but can never prove how it got there. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to also say that was, uh, that was uh, uh, Bruce Lee Pace. The pie maker, also Bruce Lee. There's a, there's a lot of a uh, lot of different uh, uh, interpretations. It's up to your religion. Uh, both of you have said Bruce Lee, and both of you are. No, oh, no, Einstein. <laughs> Einstein, he's a hell of a guy. If you see him, you can check his bling. <laughs> He patented it. He had patented it. Patent. He did. He did. He patented the bling. You're a yeah, bad person. That was... You're a bad host. You're a bad co-host, and I regret ever being your friend. Justin Robert Young, he's a hell of a host. <laughs> if you think he's any good, go check out his bling. <laughs> go to the coast. <laughs> no, I like bling better. Bling, I think it works better with bling. <laughs> All right. All right, Justin. <clears throat> If you think a thing is impossible, you're, you will make it impossible. Pessimism blunts the tools you need to succeed. Blunts the tool. Justin, what blunts the tool? Think of your tool. I want you to think of your tool, Justin. And I want you to think about it being blunted. Totally yeah. blunted. Blunted by a lack of imagination. I think it's pessimism, right? Pessimism blunts the tools. Is that is that what it said? Yeah, pe pe pessimism does do that. Yeah, I'm checking my bling right now, and pessimism is blunts the tools. Uh, uh, all right, come on, Bryce. <laughs> it's it's. Come on. Okay. Uh, I think it's Bruce Lee. You think it's Bruce Lee, Brian? Yeah. It's Einstein all the way. Brian Brushwood, your answer of Albert Einstein is. Oh, Bruce Lee. No. no, no, Einstein was a hell of an inventor. One of the th things he invented was your bling. <laughs> Goddamn Einstein. <laughs> I mean, listen, he had to get there somehow, right? Turns out he invented it just for you, Bri. Motherfucker. All right. All right. I'm ready. Here we go. We're gonna get. In, we're in the second half now. So uh, now we're worth two points. Right now it's uh, one to one to three. Brian's got one point. Justin got three. But now we're at two points. Yeah. Two points per. Justin. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Brian. I want you to tell me about this quote. If one loves, one need not have an ide an ideology of love. If one loves, one need not have an ideology of love. I mean. <sighs> Let me just say, if this is not Albert Einstein's quote, then I'm no longer a fan of Albert Einstein. He is a true asshole for not. Thinking how would you? How would you rate your fandom of Einstein right now? Uh, a nine, ten. Uh, ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Normally, uh, your fandom yeah. of Einstein, and yet if six, he did, six, and it will go down to six. Yeah. If this quote, yeah. if one loves, one need yeah. not have an ideology of no. love. So wait, that's, six that's right. is asshole? What's sub asshole? <sighs> five, five, four. Well, four. Trying, no, I number. know the numbers, right? But like, what uh, would you describe five, four, three, two, and one? I mean, a real piece of work, that one. 
<laughs> Wait, that's sub asshole? It's a yeah. real piece of work. Wow, all right, A real okay. piece of work is like the worst I could think of. That's number that's zero. That's number one. So Hitler was a real piece of work. Oh, piece of oh my work. God. Wait, that guy. Oh, real piece of work. That Check one. out his bling. <laughs> you seen his Tumblr? Not good. Not good. It's very problematic. Not a fan. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, no. Pro hashtag problematic, problematic to the extreme. All right, Justin. If one loves, one need not have an ideology of love. Uh... So wait, uh, Brian, you think that Einstein did not say it? I did no, he not did think say one way or the other. You wait. Well, no, you, you said definitely did. Between seconds ago. you, me, and the other guy, I'm pretty sure it was Hitler. So you're gonna say Hitler? <laughs> I mean, that was, if one no loves, one need not have an ideology no, of that love. Wasn't asked, <laughs> but I'm just gonna say it sounds like a Hitler quote to me. Okay, we're gonna bark you down for Hitler. Justin. <laughs> what do you say, Hitler! Justin? Do you love Hitler? We're not singing about him. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, I'm going to say that it was Albert Einstein. Brian. Yeah? Your answer of Hitler is... And Justin, you are... <laughs> Turns out Hitler didn't say that oh, one. Man, Bruce Lee. Turns out that, you was, know, that was Bruce Lee. Fucking on that Bruce one. Lee, right? Typical the mathematic Bruce, triangulation Bruce between Hitler and Einstein. Mm. I don't like it. I'm against it. You're against it. All right, with well, Justin, let me tell you about this quote. There are no limits. There are plateaus, but you must not stay there. You must go beyond them. <laughs> Sounds uh, like Hitler to me. I, 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 that, that is 110% Bruce Lee. I think I know that for a fact to be Bruce Lee. Brian, there are no limits. There Read are it plateau. again in the most Asian accent you're able to muster. I'm buying you a pizza <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'm going to, instead of doing that request, I'm buying you a pizza for sure. <laughs> are you sure? Because I'm really like to hear. <laughs> no. Nope. Yeah. Can we reset? All right, here we're pausing the game real quick because I don't think that the that the podcast audience is aware. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, something's a little off with Brian this episode, <laughs> and the reason why is because Brian, when's the last time you ate any kind of food? I had a salad this morning, and that's all I've had. Would you describe that as a normal amount of nourishment for no, you? No, I'm pretty stoked that I made it this long without food. And and here I am without food. I, I don't order a pizza. Wait, God damn it, uh, uh, Bryce. You <laughs> God damn it. All right, uh, fine. Uh, you're probably right. You're probably right. We, we, you are... Uh, I, we want the best for you. We want your bling to be on fleek all night. Yes. <laughs> you want my bling to be on fleek? You need to be we lit, do. fam. <laughs> I need to be lit, fam. All right. Uh, it's fine. Do whatever you want, but also... What was the question? <laughs> Almighty. <laughs> the question is, who said this quote? Yeah. Was it Albert Einstein or Bruce Lee? The quote is... <laughs> who is Bruce Lee? I know this for a fact. Who is Bruce Lee? <laughs> <laughs> so what was the question? <laughs> There are no limits, though <laughs> I feel like Bruce, we're at Bruce one. Lee. I, I totally know it was Bruce Lee. <laughs> All right. You both said Bruce Lee, and congratulations. Yeah! Super good at this game. There's another one. Another anime noise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm skipping ahead to the last question here. How about this? For, on. for 30 points. Yeah. Tell your son to stop trying to fill your head with science, for to fill your heart with love is enough. Man, that sounds like some serious Bruce Lee knowledge. Now, why do you think it's Bruce Lee? Why do, why do you think that Albert Einstein couldn't have a real sappy quote about love? Because I thought the same thing, and then there was some lovey-dovey quote earlier that was Einstein. Yeah, it's because the previous one wasn't Albert Einstein 
<laughs> That's not a good indicator of what you're in. <laughs> and so this one felt like, I don't know, it just felt right to be Bruce Lee. I have, I have, I have no knowledge of this. Okay. Are you aware how tightly you're squinting your eyes? Yes. <laughs> They're almost closed. It's in- <laughs> like you are at French Stewart levels of like... Like by but by, by by the way, you know that's one of my tricks, right? Is 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 like whatever whatever I'm too drunk or too tired or do whatever. Like like I just overly squint my eyes, and now you've called me out on it. I just I've never I've been with you very drunk <laughs> at, at many times over a long enough sample. That's size my trick. Can... My trick is to overly squint my eyes. Okay, I have never noticed it until <laughs> literally right now on this podcast. No, no, that, so that's for whatever where reason, at. maybe you're, it, it, it flew under the radar because I was also very drunk uh, and I didn't notice it. Yeah. Or you were wearing uh, the Jordy. I always knew it was odd that you would wear the Jordy LaForge <laughs> visor when you got drunk. The 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 the, the hair splitting thingy. No. No the the, no, the, the visor. Pfizer, the Jordy LaForge. No, I, I, I know, but like, like the actual, the thing that it was 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 meant to be like, like I don't know, fingers going into each other. It's, it's meant to be oh, like a, a hair, hair band. splitting. Sure. Yeah. Oh, hair band. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is what people will use to and and uh, imitate that fictional piece of technology. I'm gonna go back to squinting. Okay. I like squinting. Okay, that's better. good. Yeah. No. Just so to... uh, I'm going to say uh, Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein on that last one. All right. Gentlemen, I have some very. I swear to God, if this is Hitler, I am done with this show. I will quit it immediately. No, it's not Hitler. (laughs) Go on. The correct answer was Richard Feynman. Richard Feynman? Read that Richard thing again. Richard Feynman, Max Those Hoes, man. Sure. Richard Feynman. Tell your son to stop trying to fill your head with science, for to fill your heart with love is enough. God damn it. Thank this you. was not this was not the episode to throw off the board trick shots at us. <laughs> it wasn't, but uh thank you to Stephen Cogswell for um this quiz. Uh, yeah, no, Cogswell. Uh, Cogswell, he's a real nice guy. If you like him, you can throw him some bling. <laughs> Go on. It. We're building it step <laughs> by step. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, inch by Cogswell, step by step. it's the thing if you love to set fire to bling. Yeah. Hey, uh, uh, I'm a Saudi prince. <laughs> if you know me, you know my bling. <laughs> I'm a Saudi <laughs> prince, so I say. If you love Cogswell, uh, hooray. <laughs> no, check out my bling. I know. <laughs> <laughs> There's no. one consistent to the joke is that we're doing hilarious non rhymes with bling. No, I refuse. <laughs> this is your bet. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen Cogswell. If you want to find more about Stephen Cogswell, go to otfy.com, A-W-T-F-Y.com, and buy his music. If you've got a bit that you want to send into the show, mail at nightattack.tv, send it in, and uh, you can win stickers. I need to send people stickers, or I need to get people's addresses for Justin to send them stickers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just pass me the stickers. I'll, uh, I'll send them out. No big deal. Uh, hey, man. Uh, uh, have, have you uh... – did you see it? No, I did not. Did you? No, I haven't. But you want to know what movie I really do want to see is is Mother. Have you heard about this Mother movie? Yeah, I've heard that people like or don't like it, uh, and they're it's pretty much like one or the other. But but you yeah. saw it, right, Bryce? No, it was uh, Tom Merritt. Mm. Tom saw it. Tom saw it. Mm. He like Tom liked. If I can if I can express Tom's opinion, mm. Tom enjoyed it. <laughs> Tom. Tom. <sighs> Tom's getting to the point where he's he is encroaching on on uh, Trey. Uh, 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 what, what's the South Park Trey? Oh, Trey Park. Trey Stone or Trey yeah, Stone. yeah, Matt Stone, Trey Parker. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Trey Parker's quote about Roger Ebert that Roger Ebert loves every movie because every movie has popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've heard Tom trash a movie. 
Tom uh, uh, offers praise in various degrees, and some movies get more praise than others. But I don't think I've ever heard Tom trash a movie. Well, he's got uh, like, a, th- a, like a colloquial movie rating system of like, yeah, it's like, good, like, it's And cool, he's it's super proud good. about announcing it, where he's just like, on my new system, it's good. <laughs> like, yeah. everything is good by his new system. Yeah, fuck Tom. Yeah. No, uh, no we love Tom. We love Tom. But no, we, we, we don't. Yeah. He, he Tom, he's... Tom, he's a real liar, and if you want to prove it, you can check out his bling. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, hey, how do you feel about how the movie draft turned out? Oh, yeah, for those of you who are unaware, uh, go ahead and check out. Is it in the Cord Killers feed, or did we put it in this feed, too? Yeah, no, go to CordKillers.com and check it out. It's on the, any feed that has the Cord Killers show. Sweet. So go check that out right now. If you like the movie draft, we'll be covering it. Uh, oh, wait, do we cover it on Night Attack for the winter draft? Yes, we do. Okay. And if you want to play along, go to draft.diamondclub.tv slash form to play along with all of the bets that uh, everybody made uh, yesterday uh, night. Brian, I was not in love with my selection. And honestly, I believe it was because we got uh, we outsmarted ourselves instead of being TMS, and we got outdrafted by you and Tom. You and Tom put on a master class of drafting. I gotta tell you, like, I honestly feel like uh, 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 freaking Scott and Brian are gonna win it with their stupid, uh, Star you know, Wars. Star Wars, Star 85% Wars. pick. Now, a couple things to remember. Uh, we kept judging that against Star Wars uh, Force Awakens full a uh, hall, uh, they will only have six weeks of Star Wars because of when it comes out, and we always give four weeks past the end of the last movie for movies to accumulate. So uh, it may not be exactly as large as where Force Awakens was, even if it winds up doing the exact same amount, if not more, than Force Awakens. That's right, because uh, the last Star Wars movie draft, we had movies going into January, so you had a much longer tail on it. Yeah, so this ends on Christmas with The Greatest Showman. Uh, and it's 85% of whatever it pulls in in those in those six weeks. I mean, do you think that's the alpha and omega? Like, like that's, that's the beginning and the end of it? or Well, that's, that's, that is their alpha and omega, right? Because they only have one movie and it's 85% of it. So the question is then, in an underperforming movie year... Uh, does that allow anybody else to come in? And if it allows anybody else to come in, who is it? And and at that point, I think you guys, according to old movie draft Mike on Twitter, he puts team champions so humbly named uh, <laughs> uh, as uh, as as the number one team uh, uh, ahead of the six hundred and change uh, for for. Six weeks of Star Wars. Yeah, I don't think he's wrong. Like, like team team champions. Um, what what do we have? Six, seven movies. You got like, I like, think like six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, like. Here's the one thing I like about our chances is that team champions has uh, the opportunity for a surprise to pop up and and make us a lot of money. Um, you know, uh, Frog Pants is going with a known quantity and an expected outcome and all that. I don't know. Uh, so you have eight movies. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six movies. Uh, and other than that, Big and Tall, they they actually had Big and Tall at in third, right? Uh, or or uh, our movie league Mike had a uh, big and tall in third, yeah, was six yes. or five seventy, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think that might even go a little bit higher. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, you know, I do know that that Cord Killers is uh, definitely out, and Feline is out. Um, I, I don't. I just don't think they'll be able to stack anything else. Up. Yeah, Everybody but, else. By, by, by the way, it kind of broke my heart that Team Feline well, uh, uh, paid seventy five dollars for uh, for, for Blade uh, Runner. Uh, Blade Runner, thinking that they were bidding only seven dollars. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, Team Feline. 
was a dramatically returning Sarah Lane, who uh, is uh, now going to be the permanent co-host on DTNS, on Daily Tech News Show, along with Tom, uh, reuniting, and it feels so good, thanks to uh, their big Patreon push, so congratulations to them. But in her first acting uh, of, of activity back within our Diamond Club family ranks, she promptly bid fifty or seventy five dollars for Blade Runner twenty forty nine, which, as good of a movie as anybody might think that will be, for it to make seven hundred and fifty million dollars, uh, would be a tremendous overperformance. Yeah, uh, about that. Third, third anime noise. Whoops! Whoops! <laughs> Uh no I'm 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 super 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 excited for this to get going and uh, again I have to say this you guys outfoxed us at every turn you were always uh, always there to set the floor for every movie at like four and five dollars you made sure that nothing got too cheap that you everybody had to show their hands earlier it led you guys to pick up a ton of tiny movies the only flaw is that you don't necessarily have Anything for sure to make over like 150. Yeah, million. no, we we definitely boofed uh, by not having any move. Like 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 we had ten dollars left over at the end of the draft. Um, there was definitely like um, early on. Uh, I don't know if, if if there's one thing I think we did right, it was continuously try to seduce people into spending more than they should per movie. Right. Like, um, um, I don't know. Like, like, like we were left with $10 over, you know, just sitting with our thumbs up or, but, but outside of that, I don't know. I, I, I felt like we did a pretty good job of seducing people into spending more than they otherwise would have. No, yeah. Uh, again, uh, it was uh, it was it was great. Uh, uh, you guys constantly drove everything up and and wound up like uh, you know theoretically the idea is like oh well you don't want to be the guy in the mix for ten thirteen dollar crap movies right which would theoretically be more than what you would spend for it but it stacks up a bunch of shit you know and and you guys wound up getting uh, a I mean you guys got all the comedy you guys got bad moms. Daddy's Home and Pitch Perfect. Uh, now all sequels, so possibly diminishing returns, but uh, they all made a ton of movie. And Pitch Perfect three, you know, has just been just uh, an insane franchise. Uh, how, how 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 do you feel about your situation here with uh, American Made, Happy Death Day, The Foreigner, Tyler Perry's Boo Two? Uh, I will say. We would need a tremendous overperformance from Coco, Jumanji, or like The Foreigner, for for example. Like if if that's a Jackie Chan, Pierce Brosnan, uh, you know, kind of a a, a Taken uh, or John Wick style uh, sort of like Man on a Mission movie. Uh, if if that surprises if that's all of a sudden something that becomes this like action movie that's getting a ton of good reviews uh then i think we have a shot but otherwise we are depending on a lot of crazy things to happening in a year where people are just going to the movies less and less so i i think uh i think that'll be that'll be crazy coco listen uh, mike tv saying you'll get it with coco <laughs> i'm in love with the coco um i i will say i am not I think that's a challenging concept. It's basically Monsters Inc. with dead Mexicans, and I don't know if that <laughs> throw that on a billboard. Yeah, it's, it's Monsters Inc. with dead Mexicans. Uh, that I, I'm not even. That's not even a joke. That's like a literal description of the premise of the movie, where on Dia de los Muertos, a kid goes to their world. And they have to bring the kid back to his world. Um, Coco's uh, Pixar. So we'll see. Who knows? Yeah. 
Didn't sure. wasn't wasn't um Kubo in the draft last year or or the year before or so? Kubo in the two strings. Yeah, which was like had a lot of like buzz about it, but still that did had to be two years ago. There, right. No way that was last year. Uh, but in, yeah. in any case, it was like kind of a thing of like, oh, this this is a great animation and it's 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 this great premise, but I think really underperformed generally. So I want I, I wonder. I mean it's Pixar, right? Which is a lot of built in heat, but then what was the last like huge Pixar movie? I guess Cars probably uh, did okay. Cars but... three, which made it which made a bunch of money. So uh, that was this summer. So this is the second Pixar movie of the year, which I think the the floor comp would be the good dinosaur. Mm. Uh, and that still wound up bringing in a uh, hundred and oh sorry. Yeah, let me see. Let me see what domestic was. Because you guys bought Coco for twenty one bucks, which is maybe a little high for. Well, no, that was that was our. We were just uh, boxing everybody out at oh. the end. Right, that's right. You ended up with enough money to buy everything out. Uh, yeah, we just like rolled the last three movies, which I think were good movies. We had identified them as good bargains, but I just don't think that we wound up getting enough. Uh, uh, good Dinosaur made a hundred and twenty three million domestic with a thirty nine million dollar opening weekend. Wait, Good Dinosaur was Pixar? Yes. Ooh, it's been a minute for me. Wow. Uh, yeah, no, it's uh, that was Pixar. It came out the same year that uh, that Inside Out came out. Ah. See, here's the thing. Mike TV says uh, 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 all these uh, Pixar premises that sound terrible on paper. I get it, man. All I'm saying is that I don't know exactly how much the CMT crowd. I don't know how many red CMT. hats with white lettering are are going to be in the theater for the Mexican themed kids adventure. How many people who do this motion might yeah, be in the Yeah, I don't know how many of uh, how many of those <laughs> happen to be the president of the United States. Right, I don't know that. Yeah, yeah, I I, I just don't know if if it's gonna net. Again, not to say that nobody's gonna go or that everybody's racist or whatever. I'm just saying I don't think it's the get it get them out of the get them out of their their homes crowd. We gotta go see this immediately. Kind of kind of movie. Maybe it is. Uh, I'll be I'll be excited to be proven wrong since I am. I'll tell you what. Meanwhile, if you head on over to uh, diamondclub.reddit.com, you can participate in Diamond Time. Uh, that's our opportunity to shout out your projects. For example, Vlad the Nerf Neko Nerf Neko, uh, <clears throat> who says. Greetings, I come to you once again with an update. I came to you asking for 5,000 subs on my YouTube channel by the end of the year. In exchange, I would wear uh, one of those Pepe nipple eye shirts. To oh, I remember that. Fil film it, thank you. From, uh, um, from well, I'm almost halfway there, and we uh, have a few months left. Um, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm doing my best to, uh, if you want to see how mod, how to mod blasters, find out what's worth getting and what's worth passing up. Uh, and the best of all foam flinging zombie slaying midnight running action, visit tinyurl.com slash sub the number two Vlad and sub two out. Vlad. That's right. Uh, and what is he at now? Uh, he is at 2.1. Oh, he's about halfway there living on a prayer. Go ahead and check that one out. Vlad the Nerf Neko. He will wear a silly shirt for your amusement, and all you have to do is sub for free. How about this one? Uh, uh, Octagno Precepts says, Hi, Diamond Club. I'm one of Mike TV's chat mods, and I bring good tidings from our guitar slinger. And his new album is out. Woo! This is why we can't have nice things is on uh, Mike's Patreon for anyone to download. It's 45 songs. God damn. That's about two and a half hours of Mike TV musical goodness. You can go ahead and get it at YOLO420.com slash Mike TV album swag. And while you're there, become a patron of Mike. And if you aren't, help put food on his table. And there's more. Mike has updates to the album coming because 45 songs ain't enough. So go ahead and keep an eye on his Patreon for further posts. I'll tell you what, we, we could probably play a few songs of this in the after show. But in the meanwhile... Just go become a patron of Mike and, and get 45 songs. Holy Christ. Heck yes. Do you want to uh, hear this last one? You got it? Uh, sorry, say again? Uh, from Goycraft? Yeah, go. 
Uh, hello, Diamond Denizens. It is me again. I apologize for the wordiness, but I want to be sure to provide all the necessary information. Uh, I'm reaching out to the incredible community to see if I can keep an incredible opportunity from slipping away. Uh, he basically says he got hired by Tesla, uh, but uh, he is not in a position financially to make the move over to uh, where the job is. Uh, if you can help him out just a little bit to make that move, his GoFundMe is at tinyurl.com slash robots are taking our jobs, all lowercase. Uh, he's created various reward levels, uh, and it's a great opportunity to get your hands on some custom leather items, including a little diamond club and affiliate swag. Uh, check that out. One more time. That's tinyurl.com slash robots are taking our jobs. Heck yes. Very cool. Uh, and hey, I wanted to say this right now. Uh, Papa Bouvet... Uh, down there also says Diamond Club I'm getting married on Saturday September 23rd a bunch of my family and friends are bailing last minute but we've already paid for their plates if you ever wanted to come out and party in Canada you're more than welcome I will provide an open bar for any Diamond Clubbers that come out it is at the Lac Lejeune Wilderness Resort on Lac Lejeune Road Lac Lejeune British Columbia V1S1A1 Canada just out, I just outside Kamloops, British Columbia, about four hours north of uh, Vancouver. Just go ahead and uh, email Bouvet together at gmail.com. That is B O U V E T T E R, oh, oh, Bouvetter together. Bouvetter together. B O U V E T T E R together. T O G E T H E R at gmail.com. If you want to come, no pressure. How many times are you being invited to crash a wedding? That is hilarious. I, I love that spirit. Dude, agreed. Uh, totally amazing. Uh, hot damn, man. Uh, dude, so we're going to be in person in Las Vegas in, what, five days? Oh, less than that, Captain. It's going to be uh, Friday. What, are you getting in Friday or Thursday? Uh, you leaving Friday night. Friday. Yeah. Friday night. Yeah. So I'm getting in about Friday at noon and uh, going to see a wrestling show at six o'clock. And then uh, past that, we are down to clown. Right yeah. on. Dude, uh, I, I, can we commit to doing like, uh, I don't know, some uh, periscoping or some kind of extra special sauce? Uh, not not uh, not in the realms of our contract. We, we will be IRL streaming on Twitch. But yes, of course. Absolutely. All right. Done. Done and done. We're all good. Uh, no, dude. Uh, have we ever hung out in Vegas together? I don't think we have, but I feel like it would be pretty epic. You and, know, and by the way, by throwing the way, my by money the way, down the a toilet in Vegas, it's pretty You great. understand that also uh, your friend and mine, the homie Willie Dills, is in town too. No shit? Oh, yeah. How did I not know this? Uh, I, I don't know that you were keeping track on Dills' movements, but yeah, no, he's in there for, uh, for what's it called for the, uh, 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 the wrestling, uh, we, we, uh, through one 900 wrestling, our wrestling podcast together, which by the way, everybody should go listen to if you're into wrestling. Yep. Uh, we, uh, we have a wrestling fund. We don't take any money from our Patreon. We have a Patreon that makes like 50 bucks an episode and we just put it in, a PayPal and periodically we just buy wrestling tickets for ourselves and uh and and put a little money toward plane fare. So uh uh this, this is, is going all to be uh one nine hundred wrestling. One nine hundred wrestling the podcast. Go ahead yeah. and uh, get on the Discord and and uh, to do that you gotta be a patron. It is a super fun time. We have a great time on that show, but that means that Ring of Honor, Death Before Dishonor, we will be there, second row. Uh, to watch uh, Cody Rhodes face Minoru Suzuki in the uh, main event. It's going to be a great time, but it also means that Willie Dills is in Las Vegas. Brian, finally, you'll be in the same city as Willie Dills. What? Finally? Yeah. After all finally. these years. I'm so sad, so happy. It's finally happening. Uh, but no, me, you, and him, because me and Willie have never been in Vegas together. Me and you have never been in Vegas together. This is going to be a three-way bro explosion, the likes of which uh, I don't think has ever been seen before. Dude, I'm pretty stoked, and we've talked about this before, but it's like I feel like um, I feel like the audience for Ice Cream Social and Night Attack is 
pretty much as I'm fond of calling it, you know, in the Venn diagram, it is a perfect circle. Like it's our people who just don't yet realize that there are people. And I'm really stoked to reach out to them. We're going to go. We're going to go uh, spread the good word. Spread the good word of Diamond. Uh, we don't have any movie draft minute, right? It's too early for that. Right. Yep. I, next week is when that Next begins. week we got Correct. the first one. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, Brian. Uh, uh, have, have, have we learned anything uh, this, this episode? <sighs> we, we, we learned that when Brian tries to make up a song on the moment, it doesn't go well. Uh, I think we also learned that uh, when Brian Brian likes to make songs up at the moment and you can check his bling. Uh, I think, uh, uh, listen, we learned that uh, that Bruce Lee uh, uh, also invented uh, E equals MC square. <laughs> I think we also learned that Bruce Lee is an asshole. How about what? that? Uh, I'll say it. Nobody else has said it. That's me. Uh, uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, I, I, I'm a very excited. Scoops Fest this Saturday, 3 p.m. Go get your tickets. Uh, uh, it's very uh, inexpensive. You're gonna have a great time if you are in the Nevada or California area. This is a great opportunity to see us live. Hills. We very rarely do stuff on the West Coast. West Coast, so please come see us. Hills. Yes. 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 Uh, die in a fire. See you next Tuesday. Night attack. Night attack, night attack, night attack, night attack, night attack, I love you. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>